So you're thinking about moving to St. Johns County, Florida, and you're really interested in the high school academies, but you're not sure what are they? Where are they? What do they offer? Well, you're gonna to wanna to stick around to the end because I'm gonna answer all those questions and we're getting after it right now. If this is your first time on this channel and you want to know everything about living, working, playing in the Jacksonville, Florida area and the surrounding suburbs, please like, subscribe, and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current real estate market here in Jacksonville, Florida. My name's Jay White. I'm a local real estate agent and I get calls, texts, and emails all the time from people just like you that are looking for help relocating to this area and I absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in a month, a week, a year, Give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. I'm always happy to help you make a smooth move to Jacksonville. So in most all of my videos, you're gonna notice a common theme when I feature a community or a neighborhood that's in St. Johns County. It's always going to be St. Johns County has A-rated schools, check greatschools.org or niche.com, and they have the highest rated schools in all of Florida. Well, today we're going to go a little bit deeper than that, and we're going to talk about the St. Johns County School Systems High School Academies. And I personally know two students that I watched transition from uh, junior high <laughs> through high school and go on to college, and they did attend the uh, high school academies of their choice at two high schools within St. Johns County and it was an amazing thing to witness. Um, they did uh, dual enrollment, uh, they got industry certification. Of course, that strengthened their high school transcripts. And when they applied to, uh, for scholarships and applied to the state universities of their choice, they were accepted and they did have uh, full scholarships. And now those students are about to be graduating uh, in the fall of this coming year and going on for their master's degrees. So great story, and I can't say enough about what I was able to witness personally through the uh, high school academies here in St. Johns County. So as I said, St. Johns County offers exciting career academies and offers you know, students a chance to study fields of their choice and an opportunity to transition from being eighth graders on to you know, specific academies within high schools of their choice, provided they're accepted, and they get to be with students with common interests of their own. St. Johns County high schools offer acad academies that are focused on various career choices and industries for all their students. Students can learn skills and industry certifications that will help them earn dual enrollments, college credits, and also help them quite possibly with acceptance and even to earn higher wages uh, when they enter the workforce. And when I said acceptance, I mean acceptance into colleges. Students learn to work on teams and on projects, both civic and academic, that being in school and in their communities. Business partners are involved in career academies and students get a chance to visit their workplaces of these businesses that participate as well as apply for internships after their junior year of high school. Students can earn college credit, which will save them time and money when they move on to college programs. There's an annual high school showcase for eighth graders and their parents to attend each year, and that date will be on the Career and Technical Education website, which I will provide a link to but students that actually are in the academies currently, uh, teachers, administrators, and business partners will be at that event to talk to students so that they can learn about programs of their choice. The next step is for students to attend high schools of their choice, which offer these academy nights at the individual high schools so that they can learn more about the individual programs at those high schools of choice. And those dates are going to be in January of each year. Applications are done online at the CTE website, as well as deadlines 
for when to start the application and when to end the application. Students can apply for up to three programs and there is a lottery system because there are usually more students that apply than there are openings in the individual programs. Remember, if a student applies to a high school that they are not currently zoned for and they are accepted into a program, parents are responsible to provide transportation to the high school and from the high school. Again, if it's outside of the school that they're zoned for, parents will need to provide transportation for the students. I'm going to put the website on the description below. And again, I'm gonna read that off to you so you know it and you can see it from the captions. It's cte.stjohns.k12.fl.us. I'm gonna take you on a look inside my computer through Zoom so you can see a little bit about the CTE website and the various programs that are available at each of the nine high schools within St. Johns County. Okay, so I've got Zoom loaded up and I'm gonna show you the uh, career and technical education website so you can see some of the high school programs that are offered for the academies. Okay, so I've got Zoom loaded up and I'm gonna show you the uh, career and technical education website so you can see some of the high school programs that are offered for the academies. All right, so we're gonna scroll down. The first one we're gonna look at is Allen D. Neese High School Academies. They have Academy of Hospitality and Tourism, Communications Academy, and Stellar Academy of Engineering, Bartram Trail High School Academies, Design Academy, Information Technology Academy, and Vistar Academy of, Biz of Business. And Vistar is a local uh, financial institution. Beachside High School, and Beachside High School is one of the newest high schools that's been built in St. Johns County. Academy of Global Logistics and Supply Chain Management, Academy of Information Technology, Academy of Veterinary and Biomedical Sciences, Creekside High School Academies, Academy of Emerging Technology, Academy of Engineering and Environmental Sciences, St. John's Academy of Future Teachers, Pedro Menendez High School Academies, Academy of Architectural and Building Sciences, Bystar Academy of Business, Flagler Health, which is a hospital system here in St. John's County, Flagler Health and Academy of Future Healthcare Professionals, Ponte Vedra High School Academies, Academy of Biomedical and Medical Research, Academy of International Business and Marketing, Academy of Information Technology, St. John's County Academy of Future Educators. Next, St. John, sorry, St. Augustine High School Academies, Academy of Law and Homeland Security, Aviation and Aerospace Academy, St. John's County Academy of Future Teachers, St. John's Technical High School Academies, Academy of Aquaculture, Academy of Culinary Arts, and last but not least, uh, Tacoy Creek High School Academies, Academy of Innovation in the Built Environment, Academy of Leadership in Emerging Technologies, Flagler Health, and Academy of Future Healthcare Professionals. And as you scroll down, they explain why you should join a career academy and the advantages, of course, of joining an academy and saving on college. There's a college savings letter link, as well as a spreadsheet on uh, college savings return on investment. So I hope you got some benefit from our view of high school academies here in St. Johns County, Florida. Um, if you have any students that are interested in any particular academies, if it, any of this sparked their interest or if any of the, it sparked your interest, you know, leave a comment below which academy that you thought you know, was very interesting or drew your attraction. Um, if you have any questions about the video and you want to reach out to me directly, of course, you can always do that. My contact information is in the description below. You can give me a call, text, email, or click that Calendly link. We can do a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call. 
And whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days or even less, <laughs> reach out to me. I'm always happy to help you make a smooth move to Jacksonville. And until next time, hope to see you around town.